Assalamu alaikum friends, uh, I am Moomin Majid and uh, wel I welcome you all to my channel Mathematical Institute of Learning. Okay. Uh, before we start our today's topic, Domain Range of a Relation, let's uh, give a quick recap to what we already learned in the previous classes. So previously I had discussed about the ordered pairs. I, to I told you that the ordered pair a pair of elements when listed in specific order makes a ordered pair. Okay, then I uh, talked about the equality of ordered pairs. Then after that, uh, we were uh, discussing the Cartesian product of two sets. And then we uh, discussed the relation. What is relation? What do you mean by relation? And we said that relation is a subset, is simply subset of A cross B. And next we def uh, we defined the representation. We discussed the representation of relation. We saw how in how many may ways we can represent our re relation. And one such representation was a Rocher form and other was set builder form and third one was arrow diagram. Okay. Now let us discuss. It's a very important topic. This is important. That's called the domain range of a relation. You will find the definitions on your book. It's no need to write here. Okay, let's uh, discuss the domain and range. What do we mean by domain and a range of a relation? Let's suppose I have two sets. This is my set A and this is my set B. Let us suppose set A consists of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and set B consists of let's suppose 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, let's suppose 1 is related to 6. Okay, 1 is related to 10, 3 is related to 7, 2 is related to 9, 4 is related to 8. Okay, let's suppose this is my relation. It can be my relation. Okay, so since it, uh, uh, it is a subset of A cross B, therefore this R1, I, if I will uh, name it R1, this is my relation. Now, so what is the domain? See, the set of all... No, now, if uh, you write a relation in the Rosser forum, it will look like this 1, 1 is related to 6 and 1 is also related to 10. 2 is related to 9 only and 3 is related to 7 and next 4 is related to 8. Okay, so this is our relation. Now, what is your domain and what is your range and what is your... There is another term which is known as codomain. Okay. This is very easy. It will become very simple. Now, if I will define the domain as the set of all or the set of all first elements in the ordered in the Cartesian product A cross B. Yani, jo bhi A cross B mein aapke paas elements hai. Sorry, jo bhi aapki relation mein, jo bhi aapki relation mein pehli entries hai. Jaise misal ki par, har kisi ordered pair mein, ye ek ordered pair hai, ye ek, ye ek aur ye ek. इस ऑर्डर्ड पेयर में जो जो आपका पहला पहला एलिमेंट है ये पहला है पहला 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 अगर इन पहले पहले एलिमेंट्स का हम सेट बनाएंगे वो आपका डोमेन बन जाएगा तो अगर मैं डोमेन बताऊंगा तो इट इज सिंपली द सेट ऑफ फर्स्ट सेट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट एलिमेंट्स इन द ऑर्डर्ड पेयर्स लिस्टेड इन द रिलेशन इट इज द सेट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट एलिमेंट्स सेट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट एलिमेंट इन द ऑर्डर्ड पेयर्स इन द ऑर्डर्ड पेयर्स given in the relation in the ordered pairs given in the relation so it means domain is nothing here but 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 this is your domain here okay and now uh, one can to ease it to ease this definition i can simply say whatever the used elements are jo bhi aapke paas use hue hai elements let's suppose 1 2 3 4 are related to some elements in the set b these used elements form your set a okay in the set a you the used elements for set of all used elements form your set form your domain so this is domain 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 likewise we have range range is somewhat similar to the domain but here is difference the domain was a set of all first entries in the ordered pairs of the relation okay now the range is the set of all second entries second entries in the ordered pair of the relation so range will be then 6 comma 10 comma 9 comma 7 comma 8 so this is your range you can clearly say that 
the uh, to use this definition we can also say that सेट बी में कौन कौन सा एलिमेंट यूज हुआ है अगर उनका सेट हम बनाएंगे वो आपका रेंज बन जाएगा और आपका जो कोडोमेन होता है ना कोडोमेन ये हमेशा आपका सेट बी होता है कोडोमेन इज ऑलवेज सेट बी ओके सो कैन आई से हेयर रेंज कैन आई से रेंज इज सबसेट ऑफ कोडोमेन यस आई कैन से इट Why? Because six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is a subset of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. शुना ये range subset होता है codomain का. ये हमेशा true होता है कि range जो होता है ना वो codomain क्या क्या होता है subset होता है. Let's illustrate it uh, with another examples. अच्छा. अब देखते हैं हम कुछ और examples भी. Let's suppose minus one, zero, two, three, four. लेट सपोज दिस इज माई सेट ए एंड दिस इज माई सेट बी टू फोर सिक्स एट नाइन टेन ट्वेल्व ओके लेट सपोज माइनस वन इज रिलेटेड टू टू जीरो इज रिलेटेड टू एट टू इज रिलेटेड टू फोर थ्री इज रिलेटेड टू सिक्स फोर इज रिलेटेड टू नाइन थ्री इज रिलेटेड टू ट्वेल्व टू इज रिलेटेड टू टेन सो इफ आई विल कैलकुलेट हेयर डोमेन नाउ इट विल बी इजी टू कैलकुलेट हेयर डोमेन डोमेन इज एक्चुअली यूर सेट ए सो आई कैन राइट Domain is your set A. Now, if you were to find the uh, range, range is your set B, and also you know here codomain will also be your set B. Now we we can say here range is equal to the codomain. Okay, so we can generalize this result as. Earlier we said that range is a subset of codomain. Then we can say that range it may be sometimes equal or it is a subset. So I can use this notation. Range is subset of codomain. Okay. So ये हो गया आपका domain, range and relation. So and codomain. Okay. Now let us solve some questions. I have a question. There is a question. <clears throat> there is a question uh, that uh, given R, R is a relation set of all ordered pairs x comma x cube such that. X is a prime number, prime number less than hundred, less than ten. You have to find the domain and the range. Find domain and the range. It's very simple. How will you find it? First of all, let's calculate the R in the Rosser form. Since R X is a prime number, X is a prime number which is less than ten. Let's calculate. See, uh, one one is neither prime neither nor your uh, composite. So we'll take from two. So first of all, we'll get two comma eight. Then we'll get three comma twenty seven. Then four is not a prime number. Five, yes, it is a prime number. So I will get five comma one twenty five. Then six is not a prime number. Seven, yes, seven is a prime number. So seven comma three forty three. So now it is easy to find the domain. So your domain is simply. Two comma three comma five comma seven, and what is your range? Range is simply eight comma twenty seven comma one twenty five comma three forty three. So this completes our question. Uh, you have another question based on the domain and the uh, range of a relation. So let us see what is it. so it says that let r uh, let a is related to b question is a is related to b this is a element a and element b they are related b the relation be the relation on the set n of all natural numbers defined by a plus 3b is equal to 12 these two elements are related by some relation a plus 3b is equal to 12 okay you have to find the domain and the range of the r You have to find the range and the domain of the R and relation uh, on the set numbers of all natural numbers set n. So relation is formed on the set n. 
it means your a is also uh, uh, a belongs to natural number and b belongs to natural number we have to find domain and the range of the r so let's calculate it first of all uh, a uh, a is related to b and a and b are related by this equation so this is our relation okay let us first calculate the relation in the roster forum so i will get in the roster forum because a and b belongs to the natural numbers okay let's suppose a is your one if a is your one the then what will be your b b is simply 12 divided by uh, sorry b will be 3b will be equal to 12 uh, 3b will be equal to 12 minus 1 that will be equal to 3b equal to 11 b equal to 11 by 3 but this can't be our answer why it does not belong to our relation why because there is a problem that 11 by 3 does not belong to the natural number okay so let's say we have a b uh, equal to let's suppose we will say a equal to 3 so a equal to 3 so i will get 12 minus 3 is 9 3 ones are 3 threes are i will get 3 comma 3 okay next let's suppose i will choose a as 6 i will get 6 comma it will become a plus 3b i will get 6 plus 3b is equal to 12 and 3b is equal to 12 minus 6 and i will get 3b is equal to 6 3 ones are 3 twos are so b is over 2 and next i can uh, choose some 9 okay if i took a as 9 so 9 plus 3b is equal to 12 and 3b will be equal to 3 so b will be 1 okay next uh, i can no, i can choose let's suppose 12 if i if i will choose a is equal to 12 then i will get b is equal to 0 but since b is belongs to the natural number so i can i cannot take a is equal to 12 so this is our relation symbol okay so what domain is simply 3 comma 6 comma 9 and our range is 1 comma 2 comma 3 you can find it 3 comma 3 6 and 9 3 6 9 3 2 and 1 3 2 1 so this is domain and this is range now sometimes what happens is that there happens uh, so i'll erase it first kabhi kabhar kya hota hai kabhi kabhar relation khud ke sath hi set ko hoti hai i will give an example usko bolte hai relation on a set उसको क्या बोलते हैं हम रिलेशन ऑन अ सेट क्या मतलब एक एक सेट सेट लेट सपोज सेट ए हमारे पास है ये है 1, 2 ठीक है कभी कभार क्या होता है सेट ए को सेट ए के साथ ही खुद के साथ ही रिलेशन होती है ठीक है सेट ए के जो एलिमेंट्स होते हैं ना उन एलिमेंट्स को खुद के साथ ही रिलेशन होती है दे आर रिलेटेड टू सम हाउ दे आर रिलेटेड टू इटसेल्फ सो तब जो रिलेशन बनती है उसको बोलते हैं रिलेशन ऑन अ सेट सो आई विल गिव एग्जांपल्स रिलेशन ऑन अ सेट की जैसे मैं बताऊंगा 1, 1, 1, 2 दिस इज वन आई विल चूज अनदर रिलेशन लेट्स सपोज 1, 1, 2, 1 2 comma 2 this may be another relation if i will list all possible relations all possible relations on a set uh, on, on the set a okay let's uh, do that first of all i will i will get a empty yani har kisi set mein empty set to hota hi hai theek hai it's a subset okay now let's find another one so this is a subset of this uh, then, then we can find ab isko lete hai 1 comma 1 ko theek hai ये कैसे एक्चुअली आपको मिलेगा अगर आप निकालोगे ना ए ए क्रॉस ए वो क्या बनेगा आपका 1 कॉमा 1 1 कॉमा 2 2 कॉमा 1 2 कॉमा 2 सिंस रिलेशन क्या होती है रिलेशन होता है ए क्रॉस ए के सबसेट्स जितने भी सबसेट्स ऑफ ए क्रॉस ए बनेंगे ना वो सारे रिलेशंस बनेंगे तो अगर मैं बताऊंगा ऑल पॉसिबल रिलेशंस ऑन ए क्रॉस ए ए ए पर जितनी भी रिलेशंस आ सकती है ना देखो क्या बनेगा पहले तो मुझे एम्प्टी सेट में लिख सकता हूं क्योंकि वो तो सब किसी का हर किसी का सबसेट होता है next i will write this then i will choose 1 comma 2 i am taking one element at a time next 2 comma 1 and next 2 comma 2 now let's take 2 at a time so 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 2 
कॉमा उसके बाद वन कॉमा वन टू कॉमा वन उसके बाद वन कॉमा वन टू कॉमा टू उसके बाद वन कॉमा टू टू कॉमा वन के उसके बाद वन कॉमा टू टू कॉमा टू ओके उसके बाद उसके बाद आएगा वन सॉरी टू कॉमा टू टू कॉमा वन एंड टू कॉमा टू उसके बाद अब मैं लूंगा थ्री एट अ टाइम थ्री एट अ टाइम के वक्त क्या आ जाएगा वन कॉमा वन वन कॉमा टू टू कॉमा वन उसके बाद नेक्स्ट हाँ वन कॉमा वन वन कॉमा टू टू कॉमा टू उसके बाद नेक्स्ट वन कॉमा वन वन कॉमा टू टू कॉमा टू उसके बाद मैं लेता हूं वन कॉमा वन टू कॉमा वन एंड टू कॉमा टू ओके एंड नेक्स्ट आई कैन टेक आई एल राइट हेयर और आई एल राइट हेयर नेक्स्ट आई कैन टेक वन कॉमा वन टू कॉमा वन टू कॉमा टू एंड आई विल टेक नाउ वन कॉमा टू टू कॉमा वन टू कॉमा टू ओके एंड वन कैन बी ऑल ऑफ द फोर वन कॉमा वन वन कॉमा टू टू कॉमा वन एंड टू कॉमा टू एंड दे शुड सम अप टू सिक्सटीन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन एंड सिक्सटीन सो दीज आर द पॉसिबल रिलेशन ऑन अ सेट ए इज इक्वल टू वन कॉमा टू नाउ so you can uh, do do this exam uh, so you have understood now domain range of a relation and relation on a set let's uh, move to another thing now uh, see there are possible number of relations i uh, said there are 16 possible number of relations is there some formula which can which can uh, be used to calculate the instantly instantly to calculate the number of relations okay that can form so yes there is a uh, formula you have actually already learned in the sets chapter number 1 which was the num num power sets total number of power sets so we have total number of relations total number of relations very easy how let's suppose you have set a let a and b be two non empty sets b2 non empty sets okay then let's suppose cardinality of a is let's suppose m and the cardinality of b is equal to n then total number of relations total number of relations is nothing but 2 raised to power m n earlier we uh, we saw we had a is equal to 1 comma 2 tha na hamare paas to yahan pe cardinality of a kya hai 2 aur hame set a jo hai wo bhi yahi hai aur set a jo b hai wo bhi yahi hai yani is relation on a set ki baat ho rahi hai jo do pehla set hai na wo yahi hai aur dusra set bhi yahi hai to iska matlab total number of relations ke kaise aa gaye yahan pe total number of relations agar main yahan pe calculate karunga na ye 16 aayega dekho kaise is equal to 2 raised to power कार्डिनेटी ऑफ ए इज टू सो इट इज योर एम ऑल्सो इट इज एन सो इसका मतलब यह आएगा टू रेज पॉट टू इंटू टू सो इट विल बी टू रेज पॉट फोर इट इज सिक्सटीन ओके सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ रिलेशन वेन द कार्डिनेटी ऑफ द टू सेट्स आर गिवन ओके नाउ लेट सी वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑन ऑन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ रिलेशन कॉन्सेप्ट आई कैन हैव एन एग्जाम्पल लेट सपोज आई हैव क्वेश्चन Let uh, cardinality of A is equal to and cardinality of B is three. You have to calculate calculate total number of relations. So it's very easy. So total number of relations will be total number of relations. Let let suppose relation is from set A to set B. 
फ्रॉम ए टू बी आपको ढूंढना है ठीक है तो टोटल नंबर ऑफ रिलेशन विल बी सो इट डजेंट मैटर If it is not given from A to B, it doesn't matter here. So total number relation will be two raised to power two into three because cardinality of A is two, cardinality of B is three. So it will become two raised to power two three is a six. So it is nothing. Two raised by cube two to the four eight eight is a sixty four. So it is sixty four. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, this completes our relation part. Okay. Till now we have discussed what is uh, what is ordered pair, what is Cartesian product of the uh, two sets, and what do we mean by the relation? And relation is very very important. See, uh, there are uh, relation is something. It is su just subset of a uh, Cartesian product of two sets. If we take a subset of the Cartesian product, then it will form a relation. Okay. Then uh, we define the domain and the range of the relation. What do we mean by domain and what do we mean by range of the relation? And uh, next, I showed you how to calculate the domain and the range of the relation of various question, uh, types of questions. Now, in the next lecture, I will define, I will discuss very very important topic that's called the functions. That's called functions, and functions is regarded as the heart of the calculus it's very very important extremely important uh, topic and very interesting as well okay in the function i will discuss about the and the same thing will happen in the functions also there is domain and range of a function okay and the uh, in the class 12th functions we uh, we define their types of functions as well we discuss uh, there but in the 11th class we don't discuss the uh, the types of functions we all only discuss the domain of a function and uh, range of a function okay uh, and next we define some kinds of functions let's suppose modulus function constant function okay uh, um, like uh, likewise we have polynomial function rational function likewise we have a uh, cubic function okay likewise we have uh, modulus function likewise we have greatest integer function and trigonometric functions so we'll discuss them one by one so keep watching uh, my videos and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel mathematical institute of learning thank you for listening